Hey guys, what is up? So you all know that I love cameras, right? I have the Panasonic GH5, which is the camera that I'm shooting on right now. And I have my Sony a6400, which is this bad boy over here. So yeah, so I just love cameras and I use them for work, which leads me to the topic of today's video is that I got myself a new camera. And no, I did not get the GoPro Hero 9. I'm not really into GoPros. I don't really do any filmmaking that needs the camera to be like a rugged camera. like you would take on a swim with you into diving or I don't know snowboarding I got myself a Osmo Pocket 2 yep I finally took the plunge so I would never considered the Osmo Pocket 1 before because the field of view is just too narrow for me and the GoPro Hero 8 at that time or the 7 was just too wide for me I don't really like the GoPro look so yeah I finally got myself the Osmo Pocket 2 so I can't really do an unboxing video for this product because I already unboxed it and I've been using it for a month already so maybe I'll just show you what comes inside the box and we'll talk more about this sweet little camera let's go okay guys so welcome so this is the Osmo Pocket 2 as you can see it is a very small camera it can shoot 4K 60 FPS. We will be talking about that later. So as you can see, it is well built. I don't really know what the Osmo Pocket 1 feels like or I have not really owned it. So I don't know what, it, what to expect, but I have done a lot of research, like extensive research, and I really know what this device is capable of. A little more about that later. So on this side on the right is what you would normally get if you just bought the camera itself, except the smartphone, of course, I'm just putting it here. So if you just buy the camera itself, you will get the camera and the case. This is where you put, or this is what houses the Osmo Pocket 2. And one cool thing about this is that if you do power up the camera or the Osmo Pocket, it will boot up like that. And then once you switch it off, it automatically faces the camera in inwards. So it's very easy to just slot it into the bag or the carrying case. So you will get a type C cable. So one good thing about this is that I have never owned a type C cable that has two outputs. So that's so cool. You can actually charge two type C devices at the same time. I think I'm going to hold on to this cable for a long time. I really like it. These two things. So these are connectors for smartphones. So this is the lightning connector and this is the type C connector. So the way we use it is that we are going to take this out of the case and we are going to remove this protective cover for the interface here. Put the type C connector in, just slide it in and it easily connects to the smartphone. And if I slide it in, just like that. It should switch on the DJI Mimo app. So this allows you to use the Osmo Pocket with your phone. This tripod mount. So this is a way that you can mount the Osmo Pocket onto any quarter inch tripod thread or thri tripod thread mount. We pop it off. Now it exposes this body. And if we install it like this, give it a little push. We, st we retain the Type-C input over here, but we gain a, a tripod input thread. You can just spin it. And now you can have a way to mount the Osmo Pocket 2 to a tripod. So for the next part, we are gonna be talking about what comes in the creator combo, which is the one that I got. So the first thing that you will get is a control module, which you can attach to this, to the Osmo Pocket 2's interface. So with this, we can actually have two additional physical buttons that instead of just tapping on the screen, you can use this to control different features of the camera. And the next thing that we get is a proper tripod for it. This is a fancy little cute little tripod that spins out like this. This actually looks like a small little Swiss army knife. It includes a small little ball here that so it can pivot front, it can tilt back and forth. So if I do put that onto the bottom of this tripod mount, I can screw it in and look at that. Now you have a very stable way to put this onto a table. You can pivot it left or right and it will stay there. I think this tripod is very well built and I like that it has rubber feet, which means that it will have it will have good grip on most surfaces. So let's get to the more exciting stuff that comes with the Creator Combo. So this actually includes this thing called the Do It All Handle. So what is the Do It All Handle? It actually gives you a lot more more features than the body itself would be able to do. This allows you to use this included microphone. This is like a Rode Wireless Go. So this has a built-in microphone over here. If you haven't heard of the Rode Wireless Go, this has a wireless system that you can use it as a standalone system. You don't need any more receivers. The receiver is already built into this do-it-all handle. And you can even put a 3.5 millimeter level ear mic to get better audio. But I've tested this. I think this is already usable and it's very clean. You just clip it onto your shirt and then you're good to go. It even includes a little dead cat. As you can see, it includes a little magnet over here, like two clips. It clips on and then it magnetizes and it can stick, right? And it stays. Isn't that so cute, right? It looks like a little mohawk on top of it. And the last thing that it includes is this cool little ultra wide angle lens. I mean, this is already a better 
lens than the old Osmo Pocket because it has a wider field of view. I think it's a 15 millimeter equivalent or 16. So this has a 0.75x equivalent, like a 15 mm on full frame. This is what the field of view will look like if you put this adapter. So all you need to do is just power it on, slide it in, magnetizes a little bit and it clips into place. Now it's not going anywhere. So before we end this video, I'm gonna show you these little compartments over here. So as you can see, this is the case that comes with the Osmo Pocket 2. The cool thing is that, as I mentioned before, this Type-C and this um, Lightning adapters for your phones to be able to control the Osmo Pocket 2. There are slots here, which you can just slide them in, push them in, and they're very secure there. And the coolest thing I think about this kit is that this has a wide angle slot over here because if you do buy this Osmo Pocket 2 and you don't have the case, I don't know where you would put that. So wide angle lens, I can put it on that slot and it magnetizes as well. Pretty neat. It's a very small package to be able to do many things. Let me sh quickly show you what it looks like if I put the do it all handle. So this do it all handle is very cool. It even gives you a microphone input. And I think you can even use this to listen or play back to the files that you already have. So I'm gonna, so if I pull this out, I put the do it all handle. Feels a lot better in the hand because it's a lot bigger. I would only, I think, use this if I were to use this lavalier microphone or this microphone included with Osmo Pocket 2. So here's what you can do. So this case is actually very clever. You can slide in the whole thing with the do it all handle. So even if you put the do it all handle, you can still slot it in like that. You can take your microphone, put the dead cat on it, clip it onto the top of this case. There's a little slot here and this has some little teeth which go into the slot. So look at that, it firmly attaches. And one final thing, this guy. So this tripod is actually stowable or you can actually keep it within this case. And the way you do that is just flip it over. There's a tripod hole over here. Screw it in like that, put it in and push it down. And wow, I just love how this looks. Everything in one single package. That is just insane. I'm actually going to go skateboarding with my friends tomorrow and I'm gonna bring this out and we're gonna test out how the footage looks like on the Osmo Pocket 2. So see you there. So test mic one, two, three, test mic one, two, three. I'm gonna try to pop an ollie with my skateboard and hopefully it doesn't disconnect. That was an ollie, <laughs> that was a good one. So yeah, so this was a test for the Osmo Pocket 2's wireless microphone with the dead cat installed on it, so yeah. Hey guys, so this is what the Osmo Pocket 2 looks like in a controlled area. So we're in my studio right now and actually, this shot I would call already good, but I think it's a little bit too tight. So let's go ahead and grab the wide angle converter lens. We're gonna mount it onto the Osmo Pocket right now. Okay, that's a lot better. It's a little bit wider. So right now you can hear the audio. I am using the built-in microphone on the Osmo Pocket 2. I am not using any external microphone other than the built-in microphone on the body of the Osmo Pocket 2. So let's go ahead and just try to change it a little bit. So one of the things that I'm very particular with when making videos is the audio. So so I always want the audio to sound crisp and good. So this is what the audio sounds like just with the built-in microphone of the Osmo Pocket 2. So this is the microphone that came with the Osmo Pocket 2. 
we are now going to switch audio sources from this microphone to this microphone in one, two. So the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the microphone, the wireless microphone that is included with the Osmo Pocket 2 Creator Combo. So let's go ahead and clip it onto my shirt. Okay, so this is what it will sound like if you clip it onto your shirt and it's going to be close to your chest. It's going to be a little bit muffled, not really muffled, but it's a good way to conceal it. It's like hands free. You don't have to worry about it. You just leave it there and just forget about it. There's one thing that you can do though to improve the quality of the audio and not worry about this because this is a very unnatural position. Our mouth is here. So if we talk, the audio is deliver, being delivered in front of it. It's not really picking up the full body of the audio. So I don't know if you can see it, but this there's a little extension arm over here that I use to boom my microphone, but it will be like a podcasty style because whenever you watch a podcast, the microphone is always visible, right? So let's go ahead and try that in one, two, three. Now I'm booming the microphone as close to my mouth as possible. This is what the audio sounds like. So if you are trying to use Osmo Pocket 2 in a YouTube scenario and you have control over the environment that you're shooting, this would be a good step. Like you don't always have to put it on your chest. You could actually do this method. So the audio heat that you're hearing right now is coming from the wireless microphone together with the lavalier microphone. So it's here. Let me show you that this is the audio source right now. So yeah, so this is what it sounds like when you use a lavalier microphone with the wireless microphone that came with the Osmo Pocket 2 Creator Combo. So this next test that I'm doing is again with the wireless microphone and I use a shotgun microphone to pair it together. So this is what it sounds like. So I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro right now at plus 20 dB. So this is what it sounds like. So the settings on the Osmo Pocket 2 is negative three. So all the previous tests I've been doing was at negative 10, but now since I use the Rode with the plus 20 dB gain, I had to put the Osmo Pocket down to negative two, negative three-ish. So yeah, so this is what it sounds like when you use a microphone together with a microphone. This is what happens when you use a shotgun microphone together with the wireless lavalier microphone. So the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from a set of generic earphones that came along with my phone when I bought it. So whenever you buy phones, right, it usually comes with these kind of earphones. So it's amazing to know that you can actually use it together with this lavalier microphone. You don't actually have to go out and buy an expensive lavalier microphone or an expensive shotgun microphone to pair with this. If you have one of these, it could pretty much get you all set to do what you need to do with audio or vlogging, whatever. So yeah, this is what it sounds like. So now we're back to using the Osmo Pocket 2's wireless microphone. I really hope that this sounds okay because imagine what you can do with this, a very tiny setup. You had got a camera, you got a microphone over here. You all, all you need is just a light and you can pretty much do whatever you can do with a DSLR with just a tiny setup with the Osmo Pocket 2. So yeah, so let's go ahead and wrap this video up. If you are like me that I want to bring cameras with me every day and I don't want to carry a big camera like a GH5 or an A6400, I already consider the A6400 big, but I mean, if you don't want to carry and have the hassle of carrying a real big size camera, I would strongly suggest you to get the Osmo Pocket 2. It is just an amazing value for money, especially if you get the creator combo, you get the microphone as well. And then imagine what you can do with just vlogging with just a small setup like this. Like imagine your whole setup would be just this and this. You could do so many things with just these two. This can shoot 4K. I'm not even gonna go through the settings because this is not actually a review video. This is just me testing out the Osmo Pocket 2. So my final thoughts on the Osmo Pocket 2 is that this is a very good camera. I highly recommend it. I even showed the footage today to my friend Anthony and he said that he cannot believe that it was taken using this small camera. There's no way he said and then he thought that it was taken using the Panasonic GH5. So if you are on the fence about getting it, just don't hesitate. You can go ahead and get it. So if you're actually stuck between picking the Osmo Pocket 2 or the GoPro Hero 9, it actually depends on what you need it for. If you do a lot of sports, like you swim a lot, you do surfing, of course you're gonna go for the GoPro Hero 9. This would be such a hassle to try to waterproof, you know? Even if it did come with a casing, of course you'd prefer a GoPro Hero 9. But then again, if you want a camera that can shoot 4K and is stabilized as well, that is not electronically stabilized, which has a physical gimbal like this, then no more questions asked. You should definitely get the Osmo Pocket 2. So if you're interested to learn more about the Osmo Pocket 2 or about lighting, about audio, anything filmmaking, consider subscribing and be part of this awesome community. But thank you guys so much for watching again and see you guys next time.